This is a very realistic day in the life of an Amazon engineer in Japan, which includes a tour of the building work areas for a vending machine's indoor bidet, and even a greenhouse office space. So stay tuned for the full video to get a behind the scenes look. So I'm in Tokyo, Japan for vacation. The previous space I was living in had close living quarters, which included a futon on the ground. Closely beside there was a small living room with some TV, coffee table, as well as the kitchen. Imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is a person who doesn't feel confident or competent, regardless of what they achieve. They don't experience the joy of success because they are always waiting for their inadequacy and fraudulence to come to light. Okay, that's a bit much, but I do feel like sometimes I'm scared a little bit to go on vacation because I feel like it might disrupt my work routine. I'm not sure if anybody else feels this way or if this makes me just a workaholic. As a result, I felt like the best way to combat this was to at least do a little bit of work. So today, I'm planning to go to Tokyo Amazon offices to get a bit of work done. I usually have stand-up to start the day, but since I am in Tokyo, I just follow my usual morning routine of coding, getting the hardest tasks done during the morning. After that, I'm off to the office. I get there by taking the subway, and in the subway, everyone in Japan just uses their phone there's really a no-talking policy. I eventually make my way to the Amazon office, spending some more time getting some important tasks done. I didn't want to film the office area because of privacy reasons, but you get the idea. I found out that the kitchen had in fact a free vending machine for green tea, coffee, whatever you may want, which was insanely cool. so cool. I can't believe that they can get free drinks using that vending machine. Green tea, ice, cocoa, I don't know what these things are, but they're all free. I think these blinds are automatic, but let's take a peek. Then I went to grab lunch at a place called Ishiran Ramen, where you essentially order in a big bar height table. However, you are sectioned off from others as well as the servers. My afternoons are usually filled with meetings, coordinating with teammates. If I'm on call, I usually try to help customers deal with their traffic because the team that I'm in for Amazon is working on cloud storage. However, I am on vacation and I felt like maybe it was time to let go a little bit and explore the Amazon offices. So I did a quick search of Amazon Japan and I saw this image of this really cool greenhouse greenery area in an Amazon office and I really wanted to find this place. I'm gonna try and go here. I asked reception and she told me that the place I was looking for was actually 15 minutes away in a different Amazon office location. She told me I could take this shuttle bus which takes Amazon workers from offices to offices. However, there was only one remaining, and I only had 10 minutes to find this bus at some parking lot. All right, so currently, HND21 is the place to be. Um, there is supposed to be a shuttle that takes us there because it's kind of far away. I have no idea where the shuttle is, and there is a lot of directions, as you can see. met this guy and he's showing me where to go. This looks right. Oh, this is BONF. So it must be here then. Off yeah, yeah, yeah. So right here. What time? 2.35. Luckily, there was this really nice Amazon colleague who I met called Kobayashi, and he showed me the parking lot in this super big Amazon headquarters area. So eventually I found my way into this Amazon building. It was incredible. It was kind of like a mini version of Amazon Spheres, but I felt like the design, the feeling of it was a lot better. It gave a closer office feel. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Look at this. Wow, they got a banana stand. We don't even have that in Vancouver. 
All right, I'm putting my microphone on for some better audio. But look at this, they've got some like translucent desks and there are, frick, my language. Got some seating here. Look, look at this, oh my God, look at this light. That is so sick. These stairs are so awesome. This cafe. It honestly feels like I'm in some futuristic spaceship. Heading up. Oh All right, so I've already been to the Seattle Amazon spheres, but I am gonna just, all right, I'm just gonna call it now. This is way nicer than the Amazon spheres in Seattle. Look at this, that's insane. You've got like conference rooms that you can stay at. What was even cooler was on the outside of the Amazon building, it looked like a crazy warehouse. But when you go inside, it felt like this futuristic place with greenery as well as super cool tech. That. That's awesome. I finished off my night spending some time at Shibuya Sky, which is one of the high skylines where you can go to basically the rooftop and you can get a really nice night view of Tokyo, Japan. So overall, do I still feel imposter syndrome? Yes, a little bit, but I'm happy even on vacation, I can enjoy the touristy spots while also being productive, having fun, and getting the opportunity to explore a new city. Comment below though if you think this qualifies me as an extreme workaholic.